In a world of gaming and a physical need to stream and capture every aspect of our forever growing digital life, there are a few products on the market to help us with that. This is the DigiNow HD Video Capture Card and it comes in at a price of around £199 and $199. And for that price, it surely shouldn't just be a simple capture card. And thankfully, it isn't. This is an all-in-one multifunctional capture device capable of recording from old VCRs, camcorders, DVDs and the good old VHSs. Not to mention the future of game streaming. So now the price is certainly starting to be a bit more reflective of its capabilities. But is it worth it? Let's see. When it comes to unboxing this guy, the price reflects the packaging. It is extremely nice. You do get everything you need to get up and running straight out of the box. It includes a 5 volt power adapter, HDMI cable, Type-C USB cable, AV cable and even a 64GB SD card. Now that is service. Looking at the device itself, it does in my opinion reflect a premium asking price. The build quality is extremely nice. You have this brushed aluminium edging around the outskirts and to be fair, it has quite a bit of weight to it, suggesting that the craftsmanship and build quality is quite good. In terms of ports, you do have an AV in and AV out. Now this will be perfect for older devices like VHS players and DVDs. There is a built-in speaker if you want to take advantage of that, but nevertheless there is an AV out for you there too. The speakers, they're not too bad, they're a bit tinny, but it's to be expected for such a compact device. And then obviously you have your two HDMI slots in and out. And finally you have your DC Type-C port along with an SD card and USB slot for capture saving. The 5 inch screen itself is actually an OLED. Cased in its aluminium casing, you really get a rounded off quality device. The screen does make for great playback and it is extremely nice. You can obviously see everything being captured in real time or you can go back later and rewatch everything straight through the playback menu. Let me show you how to capture footage from a game console at 180p by 60 frames per second. And trust me, it is dead simple. It is so simple to grab your HDMI port that would normally go into the back of your TV and place it straight into the HDMI port on the device. Now you'll be able to see the console's outputted image straight off the capture card. But obviously playing a game on this size screen wouldn't be that enjoyable, so input your provided HDMI straight into the HDMI output on the capture box, and then plug it into the back of your TV. There is no lag time between the TV and the capture box, which was certainly going to be a concern of mine but it isn't now. As you can see the outputted image I'm showing you now was taken straight off the SD card. It is crisp and certainly reflects 180p. As mentioned earlier if you want to view the outputted image straight from the device it's rather simple. The controls on the side of the box allow for you to go into the playback feature and view everything straight from there. Now that feature alone I can see being a fantastic asset to any gamer just purely because you can find yourself in a scenario where you're on the move 24-7, you don't want to bring your laptop or computer, or you don't have access to one. You can use this as a bridge connection on any console, whether you're at an event or just around your friends and you want to capture those moments. The captured image is beyond more than good enough for playback to your YouTube channel or Twitch page. But this is £199 and on the market there are cheaper options. Granted, they don't have the included display, nor do they have onboard playback features, but for this price, we are surely expecting a lot more. Well, that's exactly where the versatility of this device justifies its price. As I mentioned earlier, there is a wide range of captured sources to choose from. For the life of me, I couldn't find a VHS player. Unfortunately, I think I binned them as soon as DVDs came out, but I do have a DVD player that operates both by AV and HDMI, so you're gonna kinda get the same idea. This DVD has HDMI port on it, but the port system is the same for standard AV. If it's an AV, use the AV in port and cable supplied and plug it into your AV in. 
and once again the captured image is just great, so if you do have an old DVD or VHS lying around, it honestly doesn't take much effort to get this digitalised straight onto a USB or SD card. At the start I said was £199 really worth it? And I had a good think about it and to be honest, it really is. And I'm saying that because of just how versatile this device is and its increasing potential. This is a truly fantastic device and for the price, I stand by it being completely worth it. It is extremely versatile and it opens up a lot of opportunities for you in whatever way you want to capture your footage. Check out the link in the description, let me know what you think and as always, I'll see you next time.